I just came out here for a little stroll after work and uh, was only walking for about 10 minutes and I found the biggest shed I'll probably find this year. Unless I can find the other side. This is a buck that uh, I call Future. I've been watching him here for quite a while. And uh, I elected to pass him this year. I think he's a super good four year old. And uh, we had quite a few encounters with him this year. And I'm just super jacked to see what he looks like this year. But uh, me and the good dog found him. Got to find the other side. Future. One side, first shed of the year. Can only go down from here, unfortunately. Well, it's June 18th, and I'm here in southeastern Wisconsin on the home property today. It's about 72 degrees and almost no wind. It's a perfect day for spraying, so. I uh, came out here today, I got everything hooked up. I'm uh, just filling up the tank on the sprayer here and uh, gonna go out and spray some of them bean plots that we got planted for this year. It is July 23rd and we're out here, we're gonna fix this water hole that uh, has dried up. We dug this in here last year and this is the water hole that Shelf Effer killed his buck over last year. And I don't know if the deer popped the liner or or what, but uh, it's a, it was a really good spot last year and I think it'll be a good spot to try to catch up with future uh, this fall. So if we're, we got another tarp, we're gonna pull this one out of here and reline it and everything. And then uh, we got a little chainsaw work to do too. We got to cut up this tree and uh, get that out of here because most of the deer funnel funnel from a big block of timber over there. So. Well, it's September 21st and Rand and I just got out here uh, to our property and we're heading into the foundation field after future tonight. We got a bit of a cold front. It's about 70 degrees as a high today and a northwest wind. So we're gonna head into the foundation blind tonight, uh, thinking the deer should be on their feet uh, relatively early tonight. Hopefully the mature bucks are too. The big cold front's tomorrow, but uh, this is kind of the start of it. So we're thinking it could be pretty good. He's right under that stand. I mean, he's a that's a 20 yard chip shot from that tree stand. <laughs> oh man. It's a 20 yard chip shot from that tree stand. Oh my God, that's unbelievable. Well, we just got back to the truck and it turned out to be a pretty eventful night. Um, Future, he came out into the middle of the plot there at the end. Uh, we ran out of, out of light 
uh, for him to make his way across the plot, but he made it to about 100 yards or 150 yards, somewhere right around there. There's a whole bunch of bucks out there, but he walked right past the other tree stand, but I'm not even convinced though if we were sitting in that spot, if we would have got a shot at him with the swirling winds that we were dealing with tonight. Tomorrow is supposed to be a little more north northeast wind, which is better for that spot. It was more of northwest tonight, so it would have been blown right over that clover plot where he was at, so I don't know if we were sitting there, if it would have even made a difference, but uh, super fun to see him. He's he's really big. <laughs> um, excited to get back after it tomorrow. Hopefully, hopefully we can make something happen, but we're in the ball game. He's right on the edge of daylight, but big cold front tomorrow. We'll see if we can make it happen. Shell Pfeffer and I just got set up in the foundation field. This is where Rand and I were set up uh, last night, except we were on the other side of the field in one of our blinds. The big cold front is actually hitting today. Yesterday was pretty good, but today is supposed to be the best day. So we're back in here trying to uh, get a shot at future, crossing our fingers that he's gonna do the same thing that he did last night. just about to close here and it was an eventful night I mean the deer really wanted to come out here like they did last night but we were just dealing with some major swirling winds tonight which it always does in this stand we're gonna probably wrap up here shortly and try and get out here while there's still not any deer trying to come back out but yeah just a just a bummer kind of it was a chance we took and probably leave it alone in here for a couple of days at least and um, maybe try a couple different spots see if we can't get lucky but <sighs> frustrating night for the most part Well, it's about 5.40. We got about an hour and a half left. So far we've seen, I don't know, like one doe, a couple fawns, and then we had a small buck work through uh, to the south of us. We haven't had anything at the water hole yet, but uh, I know there's been a lot of deer hitting it pretty consistently, so hopefully this last hour and a half things heat up a little bit. It's been a very slow night on this field. We've just seen a couple of does, that's about it. We got in undetected with them does out in the plot. Now we got a whole mess of deer out here already. This cold front's got them up on their feet. It's supposed to be a great night. So hopefully Future's gonna make his way out into the plot early and uh, hopefully he can work his way within 40, 30 to 40 yards of this blind and he can get a shot. We sat in the blind for about an extra, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes. Future came right in, did exactly what we wanted him to, just did it about 15 minutes late. Um, he never spooked or anything, but he walked right past it 25 yards, just so we were low on light, couldn't see my pin, low light for the camera. And, eventually got past close too so yeah super fun I, th I think it's only a matter of time until uh, we get on that deer in the in the daylight we just got set up in the blind it was a rush to get in here we were late getting in and just like that there's almost no deer in the field the 
reason we came in here tonight is this whole field here is just littered with scrapes. We're after future tonight. He's been lighting up the cameras here the last week or so. some rain coming in about seven o'clock about right at close this is it's getting down to crunch time i i think there's a good chance that future may step out but uh with that rain coming i'm not going to take anything other than a chip shot probably so it's been a pretty slow night we had a couple dozen fawns out here and we just had a string of four bucks come out was pretty eventful tonight, so we'll be back at it in the morning. here in the in the cut beans and a buck that I call office buck I think he's I think he's a really big three-year-old uh, he's he's a deer that I'm not looking to shoot but he's he's really big he's really nice uh, they're in all this thick stuff behind us yet so uh, that was super exciting to see that I mean there's four bucks on that one doe and she's hot no reason that that couldn't that that couldn't pull future in at any point so we didn't see him out there but he's, he can't be too far it's about three o'clock now we had one little buck cruise through the plot and one smaller doe um, the reason we chose to come here tonight is it seems like Future has really just been hanging out around this field for the most part. The last picture I had of him two days ago uh, was right under this stand at this scrape down here at 8.30 in the morning. So our wind for this spot is marginal, but uh, we're, it's supposed to lay down towards the night and we're hoping that the thermals just kind of take over more.
to say that was disappointing would be an understatement. They did exactly what we thought. They came right back through here. He came in right here to 15 yards, full draw, I stopped him, and he took two extra steps and got behind this tree. From the sounds of it, it sounds like a godsend because Shelfover was on the wrong deer anyway. <laughs> so, uh, he was right here, 15 yards. Can't get any closer than that. It's the afternoon of November 1st and I didn't even get my bow up the tree and a buck that I call the short time 10. I was reaching down to pull my bow up and Shelf Heifer said, don't move big buck. And he marched right down to five yards right here. Shelf Heifer got the camera on him, but there was no way I could get my bow up. I, I've been saying it's future bust this year, but when that deer was at five yards, he was really big. He was bigger than I expected. Man, what, what an encounter. It's about 245, so we got like a west wind. It's like 70 degrees. I think he heard us walk in and thought we were a doe. Came over to check it out, but obviously uh, the bucks are on the move. We're gonna sit back, enjoy the afternoon, and hopefully uh, action like that continues. to the right of the big tree. Yeah, to the right of it. We need him to just push, give her a nudge this way. Yeah. I don't know. He ran off a different buck. Well, it's a little after 5.30, and uh, for about the last 40 minutes, we've had future in the vicinity here. That's four, marks four days in a row that we've seen this deer on the hoof in daylight, and we just can't quite close the deal. We're gonna keep grinding. We got one more day of sunshine and hot weather, and then a day and a half of rain, so I don't know how well that's going to work for hunting, but uh, exciting to see him, though. But the story carries on. We've been in the stand for about 45 minutes, and uh, we had a Dona fawn walk through, and then maybe a minute behind her, a little buck cruised through, right nose down, right on their trail. We haven't had a ton of encounters with Future up here. It's mainly been on the south end, but in the berm field last night, which is to the south of here. Boy, would have been cool if Future was behind her. screwed that up. I knew that tree was 33 and I have my pin set for 30. And when I drew back, I just... Uh, when I drew, when I drew back, I, I just put it right where it should have been and I should have aimed. It, it went right under his chest, right under his... Oh my god. That's for D. 
day five in a row that we've seen that deer. Second time we've had him in bow range. Finally got a shot off. And I think after reviewing the footage, I nicked that little tree that was in front of him. Oh, the, the effort that we put into that deer and to have the opportunity and to just come short, fall short because of yourself is pretty sickening. I did catch a quick glimpse of future down in the three acre field in my binos. We're getting down to about the last 10 minutes and uh, if I had to guess, he's probably not gonna make his way up this way. As far as numbers of deer, uh, office buck, that was pretty exciting to see, but uh, no future tonight. Well, it's 624. It just opened for the last 10 minutes. We've had future out here. so. The next opportunity we get at a clear shot at him, I'm gonna take it. But he came from the south and walked across and he's with the doe out here in the beans. There's a lot of weeds up in these beans, but uh, so there's a lot of stuff blocking his vitals, but the next clear shot that I get, I'm gonna take. He's not, I don't think he's going anywhere, but he's right along the wood edge. So there's a chance that he just slips in there, but we're gonna, we're gonna do our best to get a shot here. It's open, so. Ready? Yep, 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 yep. Shot, buddy. <sighs> I didn't see him. <sighs> Down he goes. Come on. Down he goes. <laughs> <laughs> my opening interview today. I was gonna say how my confidence last week to get him has been so low. Last Sunday, me and Shelf Effort walked into this field to hunt one of our spots. And um, we bumped him with a doe and he's been MIA for the last week. And people have been saying they're seeing this big buck and people are getting pictures over off, the, off of our piece and to the Northeast. So I'm like, oh, there's a good chance. He, he's not gonna be here for opening day. And last night at nine o'clock, I got a picture of him and I, my hopes just skyrocketed. I was super jacked and we come out here right away and I don't know what time it was. It was like 6.15 and open was 6.24 and we just watched him come across the turnip field over here. And uh, I'm like, there's a big buck right here to shelf ever. <laughs> And he's like, oh my God, there is. And I put the binos up because it was pretty dark and I'm like, it's future. And then he just hangs out for a while out here. And I thought he was going to make it into the woods. And he just milled around over on the edge of the field over there for long enough. And we got a shot. I, I think I made a good shot. Shelf Effer says he's down. I didn't, I couldn't see anything after I shot. Well, the story of future is over a really short hunt and a short gun season for me and Elliot and I couldn't be happier. Oh, we've been playing cat and mouse with this guy for the whole entire season and I missed him on the third with the bow. Got a little bit of redemption this morning with the rifle. And uh, we've got just years and years of history with this deer. Last year we let him go, he was around a lot, he was all busted up. He busted all these brow tines off again this year. But he summered four miles away this summer and I just was a little nervous that he wasn't gonna come back. As he always did, he came back and we've just been playing cat and mouse off ball. Just a phenomenal story. So much footage of this deer over the last three seasons. We're gonna, we're gonna enjoy the day and figure out what we wanna do for the rest of rifle season because 
this makes this I think this is gonna make our entire season right here with this guy there's no doubt unbelievable story unbelievable deer and I can't believe we're done before seven o'clock this morning <laughs>